Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So it's the end of August. Actually, it's a, it's already the beginning of September when I'm filming this because <laughs> I just was able to finish f filming it today. Today is the third, but yeah, it's okay. But yeah, the August has ended. September is now beginning. And we do it like always. I will show you what I got and I will talk about what I already bought or planning on buying and then just random shit. So yeah, this month I mainly got a lot of photo cards and obviously I can't show you them all because it would be too much of a hassle to pull them all out of a binder. But um, if you want to see what I got, you can watch my last two videos. I already pre-filmed a video where I put all my all my girl cards in my binder, but I haven't been able to edit it yet. And yeah, but I also got some other stuff that I will show you. So I got my Zen Market haul this month, finally. <laughs> it's been in the word work since June. So I got a lot of all my girl stuff, so I will just like show random things. So non-stop I got, so of course I already have the album, so I am planning on selling them and then fifth season so and of course a lot a lot of four cards <laughs> for oh my girl really excited about that i already have uh, the videos already up so if you want to see that there you can i can, you can see it there and if you want to see more detail look um you watch out for my other video i don't know when i'm able to edit that because i won't go into that later but because i have gotten pretty busy and i also or it's some got seven albums as you know I already have them all but I always like to add some signed albums to my collection so this is identify signed by everybody and this is God love signed by everybody I also bought a second copy for God love signed by everybody and my friend my friend came today and I gifted her it for her birthday even though her birthday is next year in February I think I couldn't wait because when I see like good presents, I need to buy them now and I get to need to give them to them now. And she was so touched and so moved and so cute because her bias is Jin Young as well. And she's also a really good, big God 7 stan. And, but she didn't have God Love and she didn't own any signed God 7 albums yet. And nowadays when you buy like signed albums from M-Wave or like stuff, you only get like one member signed. So like the whole seven members signed is pretty rare nowadays in the early beginnings they did it more but that's that and yeah so this is just a placeholder and got a ton of got seven cards i finally finished present you and me this month and honestly biggest accomplishment ever so let's look at my <laughs> identify album just at the placeholder here so yeah, this was like the first video this month I posted and it was like, finally, I only needed one card and I was, uh, I bought it with um, a ton of other cards, not a ton, but like a few spinning top cards because spinning top is next. And I was so happy that I could finally like have it done because I have been working for it at least over two years because the comeback was two years ago and yeah. <laughs> That's how long it takes to finish it all because I try to finish it fast, but because there are so many cards, I uh, I need to do it like slow. But yeah, so these are all the things I got. Sorry, camera, I kicked you. The things that I bought this month. So there's a few things coming. So I have a with drama haul coming. In the with drama haul are two copies of day six subunit for me and my friend. Then. Two of the lovely albums for my other friend, and then we bought some um, summer store merch. I personally bought the pop socket Jin Young's. I bought the little doll from Jin Young because the big one is ugly and too expensive. <laughs> and then I also bought, I think, not the cushion. I wanted to buy the cushion, cushion, but at the time it was sold out, and then it came back. But yeah, I think I bought a. Pro, a purse now what do you call this a bag i'm not pretty sure i, I have to look it up but they, that will be sent out at the end of september because of pre order for, uh, for the summer store and before i bought the things 
I was I really wanted the Polaroids. You got uh, when you spend over thirty thousand one is like thirty euros, thirty uh, USD at the summer store pop up store in person. You got a Polaroid, and for each for each member there are two different styles. And I was like, oh, I really need this. I really want this. And then I saw that somebody on eBay was selling them. The R store, what they call, they're like pretty big. And it was pretty cheap. I think I paid like 10 euros each. So basically I saved some money because you had to spend like 30 to get them. But I bought the two versions and then I bought like three or four spinning top cards just because I just didn't want to buy just the two ones. Because at first I didn't want to buy Summer Store merch because I was like, no, that's too expensive. But then my friend were like, yeah, we want to buy this and that. I was like, yeah, let's, let's combine it and we can buy it together. And then I just pre-ordered yesterday uh, Oh My Girls, Yours first mini album, her debut. The teasers look so, oh my God, it's so, I'm in love. It's like a kind of like a style of like Princess Mo Momoke, Monoke. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. <laughs> it's been a while since I watched that, but like this is the vibe, like the warrior vibe. And uh, I'm in love. Did I buy anything else? No, I bought with drama. And no, I didn't buy anything else. Still waiting for God's Heaven comeback. It's been a while since the boys came out, so I want to come back. <laughs> But yeah, that is all and I try to not buy too much because I've bought so much already and I'm not planning on buying anything else. If it's if something comes out, of course I will buy it, but I don't think Oh My Girl will have a comeback in the next few mo two months maybe, maybe in a month's time, but because US has a comeback now. Hopefully got seven, but we don't know. Day six just had it and yeah, that's all and Yeah, so now let's talk about random shit. So it's the beginning of September and maybe you have been following my videos for a longer time It has been time that I finally start school again so I finished like my school year. I did my abitur, like the high school diploma, just a normal 13 years to go to school. Then I went to university for actively one and a half years and I've been in university for three years, but the last one and a half years I didn't go. I just was there for the benefits because you get child support when you are in university. And yeah, but I knew so I quit university for different reasons of, um, I didn't like it there, it wasn't my style and I had some mental health problems, I still have, but that was the main reason that I like didn't want to pursue university anymore because it's not how I learn, it's what, not what I do. And I wanted to obviously do something with my life and um, I wanted to work with kids, so I wanted to be a kindergarten teacher, so I put an application in last year but I didn't get in and but this year everything worked fine so I got in into um, the school where you are like uh, you will learn how to be a kindergarten teacher and to work with kids and stuff and this week was my first school week so Monday was my first day at school and I was kind of worried because I uh, have mental illness as you maybe know uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's some kind of mishmash between a phobia, anxiety, and everything else. Uh, <laughs> I am in. Uh, I have a doctor that I see regularly, so that's fine. I have been improving a lot, but there's still so much more that I have to learn, that I have to cope with. So, uh, for my liking, it went pretty good the first day. Of course, I was so nervous. I kind of love and I kind of hate meeting new people because it's always like difficult, new situations and stuff. And especially for me with my anxiety, I have too much like thoughts about what will happen, how it will happen. So, but surprisingly, it went pretty well. And then the next day was like the first full day of school and it's kind of weird how sometimes like things happen. So the school day was pretty okay. I like the teacher, I like my classmates, I like how everything is set up. 
but my body is kind of reacting in weird ways. So maybe you know, you know I had Corona at the be at the beginning of the year. Uh, obviously, I survived. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. But still have some issues with my health and stuff. And Corona took a had a big impact on my mental health. Uh, after that, I became scared of hospitals because I didn't want to go there because you see death all the time. And it's gotten a lot of better, obviously, because I'm not ill anymore. But my body has been acting kind of weird and sometimes I feel like fainting, but I'm not. So it's really weird in between and I have to figure out what it is. But I have the tendency to react with uh, body like things. So my body reacts weird to stuff if I have stress and that's the case. So every morning when I come to school, I'm not like overly like anxious or I'm not like scared. I'm just like tired because it's so early in the morning. But the third, I would say the first good half of an hour of the first school uh, hour, I'm sitting there with a pulse of 160. That's really high. <laughs> and kind of sweating, kind of like not panicky, but kind of like what's going on. And then I calm down and everything is fine and I don't know why I react that way. I know maybe it's TMI for you guys, but I've talked so much about my mental health um, illness at this point. I don't care anymore and you don't know how I look like. <laughs> so yeah, so I think going to school has been a pretty big, big change for me. It's a good step forward because obviously I want to be a member of society, I want to have a job, I want to um, obviously earn money to have my own life. I'm blessed that my uh, parents, at least one of them, is supporting me and I'm living with them. So I obviously have been working the whole time with my mental illness. I babysit and that's my like one like safe space where I can be myself and not feel judged. And one thing, one aspect of my mental illness that I feel like uh, restricted by social standards and that's pretty hard for me because um, I want to fit in and obviously I can't sometimes because I have my illness maybe some of you guys can relate and I'm always fighting that I have been getting better and my friends are supporting me in that aspect so that's pretty good but going to school is a big change and nobody knows there that I have a mental illness and that I maybe can act sometimes weird because my brain is like overloaded with too much thoughts or anxiety and I need to like calm myself down but so far it's good but obviously but it's really really tiring for me mentally and physically going to school and like having like <laughs> a pulse of 160 and just feeling like shit but in the grand scheme, I think I know that I have to work through it, that I have to like power through it because there's no other way. Maybe people with anxiety know that if you give in or give up, the things go really, really south. You have to fight it always. Sometimes it's really exhausting, you know, you don't have the power or the mind to fight it, but you always have to keep on it and do it and, you know, you have to know what you want in life and you have to fight for it and that's what I'm trying to do and it's working okay. I'm kind of lucky that I only have three days school and two days um, work in the kindergarten and it's like an apprenticeship how you call it but I haven't found one because Corona and all this stuff but uh, today I got some lovely ones back so I think I will have one next week and then I don't have free time like today. <laughs> But obviously, uh, I was really glad that I had today and tomorrow like uh, empty and nothing to do. I still did some things today. I did go with the dogs outside. I had my friends over and stuff. So keep myself busy and not like, like just do nothing. And yeah, that's that. So I'm kind of curious to see how next week will go, but. I'm kind of handling, handling it good, but we have to see how it will go. And obviously going to school and having so many people around me is a new situation for me. And like sitting in class for such a long time and like listening and stuff. And it's 
kind of exhausting when you have to deal with a mental illness at the same time but i'm getting through it so that's that <laughs> so if you are self struggling with a mental health illness it can get better and you just have to fight for it even though sometimes it doesn't seem like you have the um, strength to do it you just have to keep going and sometimes you can't and then you just need to take a deep breath and say we have to do this we go it and I'm still not healed by any means but I still have a long way to go in my mind but I am on a really good road and one and a half years I couldn't imagine like doing the things I have to I do now so I'm really proud of that that I have accomplished that <laughs> because something something that I do I'm not proud of myself for things that I do so I need to learn to be more proud of myself <laughs> uh, weird thing to say but that's that and YouTube is playing a big role in that because I enjoy doing that and I try to keep time to do videos but I think I will only have time on the, on the weekends because in, on, in the week it's just so much to do. I have school, then I have work, then I have therapy, then I have maybe friends <laughs> if they have time. So yeah, I think the schedule will keep a bit, but I don't have a schedule, so that's fine. But I still try to make as much videos for guys as possible. But I, when I don't post something, you know that I'm busy with school and that's totally fine. So yeah guys, I stop rambling now. It's like 10 p.m. at night. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to film it now because uh, I haven't filmed yet, so I need to get it out. I think I will edit this afterwards. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, the year is almost over. Only three months, no, not three months. October, November, December. Oh, three months to go. <laughs> and then it's Christmas again, oh my God. And then I turn 24. I don't want to think about that, but yeah. Really exciting for my new journey that I am starting and for all of you who have started something new, good luck. If you are going to university or something else, you can do it. <laughs> and I will stop rambling now and I hope you enjoyed my video. If you want to follow me, ring the bell down below and subscribe and Instagram is linked down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!